Hello everyone, this is part 2 of a space shooter game in Scratch. In this tutorial, we would be making our bullets shoot from alternate sides and the stars. So, let's get started. So, till now, we have our player which shoots bullets from the middle. So, we don't want the bullets to shoot from middle, we want them to shoot from alternate sides. So, delete the forever loop and when I started the clone and make a new variable. Name it as fire side for this sprite only so set the fire side to right and then grab a forever loop and make a new custom block name it as double shot so in the double shot grab a if then statement so if mouse down so if you want the bullets to shoot when you press key space or key a you can do keys if key space pressed but i want the bullets to shoot when i click so if mouse down then grab a if l statement so if the fire side is equals to right right then it will go to like here so if you want like here or here so i'll tell you what to do so if fire side is equal to right go to x and y and then go to sensing and grab a backdrop or stage convert it to player and y position so inside the y y position of player and inside the x x position of player and plus um, convert it to player so take a plus 17 x position of player plus 17 so if you want it more far you can do 20 or 21 so if you want it more closer you can do 15 or 13 12 but i want the bullets to shoot from here so i'll do 17 and then it will wait 0 0.01 seconds and create clone of myself and it will set the fire side to left and you have to wait until not mouse down so if you have taken key space you can do wait until not key space pressed but I've taken mouse down so I'll do wait until not mouse down so now inside the else just duplicate this block and change the set fire side to left to right and the plus 17 to minus 17 or you can do plus minus 17 so I'll do minus 17 and then inside the forever do double shot and then when I start as a clone, so when I start as a clone, it will show and then point in direction. So it will point in direction the direction of the player. Grab a backdrop of stage, convert it to player, direction of player, and forever change Y by or move 10 steps. So if you want it more faster, you can do 17, 18, or if you want it slower, you can do just keep it 10 or 9. I'll do 17. And then if it's touching the edge, it will delete this clone. If touching edge, delete this clone. So now let's test that out and it's working so they are shooting from alternate sides sprite name it as stars so for the first costume just draw a normal circle of three by three si size and center it and for the second costume use the text and do shift eight and center it so now let's do the coding so grab a when flag clicked go to random position 
and then grab a forever loop and we don't want the original sprite to show we only want it clones to show so hide and go back or go back 99 days so that it's not in front of anything so now let's make a new create custom block name it as create stars and then in create stars do create clone of myself and then wait grab a wait one second block and change the one second to pick random pick random 0 0.0001 seconds and then 0 0.00001 seconds and then inside the forever put create stars so now let's grab a when i start as a clone so when i start as a clone switch costume to pick random one two two so grab a pick random from operate operators one two two so let's make a new variable name it as star speed for this sprite only and then hide the star speed and we don't want the my variable just delete the my variable and then set star speed to go to operators grab a pick random minus one to minus ten and uh, of course show and set size to so pick random like five to twenty and then change grab a change color effect and then one more change color effect and change the color effect to ghost effect and the second color effect to brightness effect so change ghost effect to star speed and change brightness effect by 50 25 so now let's grab a forever loop and change y by star speed so change y by star speed and if it's touching the edge it will delete this clone if touching edge delete this clone and it will go to uh, grab a go to x and y block so first show so go to So it will go to like here. So that's minus. So go to operators, grab a pick random so minus two thirty two to like two thirty two, and y is one seventy four. And y one seventy four. So just duplicate this block and delete the set star speed and from set star speed and don't delete the go to x and y keep the go to x and y and set size to and now just do set ghost effect so grab a set color effect change it to ghost so set ghost effect to 5 and set brightness effect to like Ten and forever it will change y by minus one forever change y by oops minus one and if touching edge delete this clone so what this will do is when I start as a clone it will show and then it will switch costume to pick random like this one or this one and then it will set the star speed to minus 1 and minus 10 and set size to 5 or 20 so that it's small and then it will go to here or here and go it will change ghost effect by star speed and change brightness effect by 25 so that it close and then it will forever change 
y by star speed so the star speed is minus 1 or minus 10 or minus 3 so it will change y by like minus 1 or minus 2 or minus 10 and if it's touching the edge it will delete this clone and inside here it will set the ghost effect to 5 and brightness effect to 10 and size to 5 or 20 and it will glow go from here and it will change y by minus 1 so that it it's a little bit slow so let's test that and it's working so some stars are slow some stars are fast and every time we click the flag that speed changes so if you have any doubts you can ask me on my scratch studio the links are in the description below and that's it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it give the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe too see ya